what is our worth? There is so little concern about practical matters, especially per perhaps at your age, um, as you're learning your craft, as you're trying to hone that in, as you're drilling yourself, as you're rehearsing and, and trying to conquer your instrument, both your, your physical instrument and your external instruments. Um, so that the whole notion of how do we survive as an artist may not play as an important part in your life. But I will guarantee you that it is playing, that question is being raised in your houses right now by your parents. How are they going to survive? Um, and this is, um, this is something that uh, I think we, we need to, uh, to, we need to address, and, and, and so we'll, we'll talk a little bit. There's, there is, and this may be a little bit of ahead of, you, of some of you, but you need to begin to think about this now, because that begins to formulate how you're going to, to uh, attack your, your work as, as the years come. One of the very important, you know, somebody told me, uh, in fact, it was, it was a former student, you know, came back and spoke to our class recently, and he was saying that it is important that you live within your means. Once you're out of school and you're out there and you're working, that it is important that you live within your means. And so that the whole notion of wanting a job, wanting a job, in my case, in, in, in theater, in acting, in film, television, whatever, wanting a job is a lot better than needing a job for financial reasons. We may need that job for spiritual reasons, but needing it for our sustenance, for our, you know, uh, our lot, you know, to pay the rent, to for food and for all those things, to have to, to have to have that job, that puts a whole lot of pressure on that audition that you don't really need. When you go into that audition, it should be about the, the work itself. It should not, you should not be encumbered with, God, if I don't get this job, because right then, right then and there, that's going to weigh so heavily on your mind that you're going to blow the audition anyway. Um, so it's going to be an unending cycle of, of bad choices. Um, survival jobs are inevitable. Survival jobs, waiting, waiting tables, bartending, cab driving, all of those kind of things, those are inevitable. But to be forced into one and to be forced in, into a job that might interfere with your pursuit of your career you know, is another bad place to be. You might be forced into that job because you have to have that job, and I see that quite often, because you have to have that job, and you have to pay that rent, you have to buy food, you have to, you know, so many things that you have to do, so you have to have that job, but that job, because of the hours that you have to work in that job, that job is preventing you from going to, to auditions, it's from preventing you from taking classes, it's preventing you from really pursuing the art that you came to really do. Um, so we, we talked a little bit about uh, um, um, how do you try to circumvent that. Another tip, as it were, that, that one person once said to me is, Never count on the money that you're making right now. You know, you have to always think about the money, what's, what's going to, what's going to happen in the future. Um, ben Long uh, <laughs> gave me a quote of, I think it was an a acting teacher that taught here some years ago. Uh, I think if I'm correct, Ben, correct me if I'm wrong. He said that if never spend the money it's never spend your money while you're working. You know, be very conservative with the money that you're making while you're working. Spend that money when, you, when you're not working. 
when you don't have a job. And, and I think what he's saying is that you're constantly looking down the road. You're hoarding that money away and looking down the road to a, a time when the jobs are going to be a little bit more scarce and it's not going to be, you know, quite, um, you know, things are not going to be quite as plentiful.